You better watch out, you better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. Hey there, RHS. Happy holiday season. I'm Matt Vernier. And I'm Abby Mead. And this is your Daily Dose for Monday, December 8, 2014. This year's fall play was Checks, Please. Let's take a look at the highlights of the play. You can look forward to the spring play in April. In club news, Kika will be having a meeting today after school in Mrs. Kirkhoff's room. They will be doing cards for shoulders at lunch Monday through Friday of next week. Also, Key Club will be working with PBIS to do a canned food drive starting next week before school. Please bring any non-perishable goods to help. Please see Mrs. Kirkhoff or Mrs. Robb for details or questions. The next RHS peer mentor and mentee meeting will be taking place on Wednesday, December 17th at 7.30 a.m. in the LMC and is a Christmas Get Up special celebration. In general news, Teddy's is having a Christmas sale featuring wreaths, poinsettias, Christmas cacti, and centerpieces. Please see Mrs. Ferris for order details. PBIS is selling virtue shirts from today, Monday the 8th, through this Friday. See Mrs. Zaleski in room A219 to order one. RHS Media has a new addition, the Dot Radio. You can listen to this broadcast online at rhsfairdaily.com and check out this past Friday's new podcast. Now, here's Sam Phillips with your sports Hey guys, I'm Sam with your sports report. Varsity girls basketball had won both of their games this season. They are off to a strong start with some young talent making an impact of both of the first two games. Kayla Watson talked to the team about expectations for the upcoming season. The varsity girls basketball season has just begun. We talked with some of the players on their expectations and goals for this season. What are you expecting in the upcoming weeks? Um... I think we're definitely expecting to have some good competition and um, we're definitely planning on having a lot of fun like as a team and just bonding together and creating like a team atmosphere. How are you preparing for this season? Um, we're practicing six days a week and uh, for like hour and a half to two hours and we watch some film too just so we can get an idea of what our competitors are doing. What are your goals this season? Our goals in, as a team this year are definitely to, um, we'd like to go undefeated, but that's, we're going to have to work really hard at that. And we want to win a district this year and be able to put something up on our banner and even see if we can go farther than that as well. What are you expecting for in the upcoming weeks? Um, we're expecting to have like a strong start. Um, we've been practicing really hard, so we hope to have um, a few wins to start off our season. How are you preparing for the season? Um, we went to team camp at Northwood this summer, and we've been conditioning a lot, so we're pretty pre prepared, I think so. How are you preparing for the season? Um, I'm preparing as in trying to stay focused in practice, uh, 
trying to get used to the speed of the game. And what are your goals for this season? My goals would have to be just to get closer together as a team and um, just to do great like in the league overall. Good luck this season, Lady Bears. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Kayla. Thursday night, Varsity Girls Basketball had won 30-29. Haley Fertangelo hit three free shots within the last 10 seconds of the game. Great job, Haley. Varsity Wrestling have a dual meet on Wednesday at Tecumseh facing Tecumseh and Wayne Memorial. Good luck, wrestlers. Boys Basketball have their first game tomorrow at home facing off Richard. Good luck to you guys. Today, Varsity Bowling have a game against Truman at Indian Lanes. Strike them out, bowlers. Boys swimming have a scrimmage meet against Edsel Ford on Thursday. They showed great effort and won their scrimmage. They're ready for their season. Good luck, Bears. That's all your sports for today. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Sam. Students, please remember, headphones and earbuds can only be worn before and after school or in the cafeteria during lunch. Any students wearing them any other time will have them confiscated. Happy birthday to Erica Frazier, Rosemary Cerula, Jordan Matthews, and Bill Alford. I've been Matt Vernier. And I've been Abby Mead. Stay, Stay frosty, frosty, RHS. RHS.